I'll try him again quickly, but I think he's probably sleeping. Ooh. Mobile 2 doesn't know what he is. Hello, Mobile 1. Hello, Mobile 1. Are you copy communication center over? Okay. Stage gate. Hello, mobile. Hello, mobile. Do you copy communication center and then we'll contact you if we have to relay it. Can you get the message? Contact us, but they can't get through to anyone else. Well, welfare really helpful. They won't. Operator will. Yeah, they usually are. Maybe I'll just go and explain it all the time. Yeah, you're right. I see. Yes, your phone hasn't been removed. Okay, I'll do that. Yes, sure. Ciao. Ciao. Oh, this is uh, Henry Aitani, uh, the communications uh, worker at the farmhouse, and uh, thought I'd do a little um, stroll around, roving the radio reporter for Radio Avalon and that um, don't hear much from the people who have been working for up to four months on getting the festival together. So I'm just strolling through the farmhouse kitchen and uh, we should be up here. Oh, Michael Evers. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Michael. <laughs> um, I just don't, I'm actually doing a little recording here to go out later. On Radio Avalon, I've um, uh, got to ask you a few questions. <laughs> you know. <laughs> How do you feel about it, anyway? Oh, really? What you about what? About the festival. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, I think it's fantastic. I think it's the <laughs> ultimate <laughs> festival. It is. There's yeah. been, been some reports you were thinking of uh, having a rest next year. What do you think, really? No, I don't think that's true. Actually. No. 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 I, see. Well, I'm just, I haven't got much time, so I thought... Right. Start, start with the man at the top. <laughs> <laughs> and now, the lady... <laughs> Um, lady of the house. Hello, Jean. A uh, few words for Radio Avalon. Great, Jean. Come on. <laughs> Tell them the truth. Well, I talked to Emily. <laughs> Emily? Emily Eves. A few words for the people of Radio Avalon. Say something. Hello. Say hello. <laughs> Think of something to say. Say your poem. Hello. Say hello. Hello, Henry. Come on, say hello. Let her hold it, Henry. Hello. Let's do it. Hold it, baby. You speak into it then. You're pausing there. Hello. Hello, Emily. Say how are you? Uh, okay, Jean. Well, thank you very, very much. Sorry to disturb you, and I'll uh, stroll on. I think there's anyone in the office. I was trying to catch Simon, actually. Thomas will do an interview. Oh, Thomas, will you? Okay. Yes, he will. Go on, tell him what he thinks of the festival. Come on, you will, Thomas. Have you been here long, Thomas? No, I've... I've oh, come on, Thomas, don't be mean. No, I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm babysitting. Oh, you're babysitting. And whose baby is this? This is my baby. Oh, indeed. And your lady's out on site, is she sort of um, enjoying the festival? No, no, she's gone to get a new nappy. <laughs> very, very important <laughs> sort of... Uh... Thank everybody for coming or something. Oh yes, we must yeah. thank everybody for coming, mm. Michael. Mm. What? <laughs> you must thank everyone for coming. <laughs> yeah. It's going well for the time being. Yeah. We've solved the water problem. Oh. Um, hi, how are you? Uh, hi, I'm, I'm a raving radio reporter for the Radio Avalon, the uh, people's radio on. station that's on the side. Oh, um, really? Yeah. A um, few words, maybe? Well, what do you yeah, think what do you want me to say about it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, all I can say is that I think it's a oh, wonderful yes, festival, I and uh, Curtis McFood is going to be on next. Yeah, who, who are you? My name is Wilf Walker. I see, Wilf Walker. You're, you're, you're playing here? No, no, I'm not no he's yeah. involved with the booking of... I see. Okay. Yeah, you know, some, uh, of bands, some of the bands. Some of the bands. I mean, I always, I always bring, I always, I always bring a substantial American act to the festival every year. Yeah, that's true. And it's been, this is the third year that I've done that. Yeah, that's true. Start off with Taj Mahal. Uh, okay. In eighty-one. 
last year. Richie Havens. Richie Havens. Mm -hmm. And Richie this Havens. year it's uh, Curtis Mayfield. Who's on in about half an hour. Half so an hour. Get down oh, there. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, we have a here right now? No, we're recording. No, we'll go out later. Okay. Just a little filler. But, but um, I'd like to say thanks for coming, everyone. I mean, it's really made the show. We couldn't do a festival without all the people sitting out in the fields so. there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, here we are. Here's a very busy man. Uh, Ricky. Um, doing a little recording spot for Radio Avalon. A few words. What have you been doing here today? <laughs> yeah, we know you've been very busy out here in the front office. What's this queue of people out here? There's about... They're all, they all want to phone out to Mum, I think. Probably. I see. Yeah. It must be. How long do you, are they waiting for now? Well, they're, they're very patient. I think it's actually it's a form of group meditation. They're just pretending to telephone in the corner, but I don't oh, really think it's happening. Things seem pretty quiet here now. This is a little festival office at the farmhouse. There's, uh, who, who can't it's, sit. It's, it's amazingly quiet. I mean, it's so quiet. This festival officially is running itself. Officially. Out. Yes, excellent. Okay, well, I'll... Well, uh, see you later. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. uh, I'll, I'll trot on. Yes, I'm just walking out to the <coughs> front of the farm. I haven't got too long. Um, I think I've got a little trip over to perhaps the welfare. Hello. And who have we got here? <laughs> Hello, Henry. How are you doing? Hello, Henry. <laughs> oh, we're just doing a little um, recording for um, Radio Avalon, the site radio. Oh, I yes. thought I'd right. whiz round the farmhouse here, to sort of um, talking to some of the essential um, services. W services and workers. And here, so your name? Carlo Blanford. Oh, is it? And you've been working on the. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you remember? We're working on the medical. <laughs> yes. With the drugs, you know. Yeah, yeah with the drugs, man. <laughs> you're the people with the, <laughs> with the drugs. The dentist. Oh, oh, yes, you're the dentist, aren't yeah. you? Yes, I, I, I think you had a beard last time I saw you. So, what was your name? I've still got a beard. I've still got a beard. You had glasses <laughs> last time we saw you. Where are they? <laughs> no. Uh, there was a little boy lost out on site yesterday evening. It just taken a lot of LSD, we told. And as I strolled up here, I thought for a moment I might, in fact, be a 14-year-old boy who's <laughs> taken to Sebastian. I was very surprised. Here, could you introduce yourself? I'm Chris Howes. Chris Howes, Dr. Chris Howes. That's right. And you're coordinating the medical services. That's right. Yeah. How's business been? Very brisk. <laughs> <laughs> very, very no chance of unemployment. <laughs> Any, anything you'd like to say to the people out there about uh, the medical services? And who am I? I'm talking to the people on the site, am I? Or yes, the, on Radio yeah. Avalon, which is oh, broadcasting yes, right. around the site on 102 uh, point something. Or I'm not too sure of the exact frequency. On the illegal wave uh, no, no, on, no, on yeah. FM. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, the, um, the only thing to say is that if you've got sunburn, try and treat it yourself because you're absolutely out of colour, mind. But apart from that... <laughs> there we are. So if anybody's got any colour lotion out, out on site, they, they can... can uh, sell it. <laughs> no, 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 you're going to, <laughs> you're going to be uh, selling it. Excellent. OK, thank you very much. Okay. Bye-bye. Right, don't have too much time. Um, let's see what's going on here. Ah, through the wagon shed. And, um, oh no, there's somebody. Bob Nightingale, I wonder if he's, um, if he can speak to me for a moment. Um, hello Bob, I wonder if you can speak to me for a moment. Um, radio Avalon, the site radio. And um, just moving around the uh, farmhouse here. Talk to some of the people who are keeping things together up here. But you're not too busy. Well, we're almost completely overloaded. <laughs> you are. Go on, two minutes. OK, anything you'd like to say to the pit listeners out on Radio a Avalon? Any information? Or? Yeah, look after your gear when you go to sleep. Don't let it get ripped off, because there's burglars about. How many cases have you had? We've got tons of stuff at the lost property. If people are missing it, they could come oh. and have a look. We've also got loads of lost kids, <laughs> and we've... Uh, what about thefts? Uh, how many, how uh, I couldn't say how many thefts. I mean, talk about hundreds. Hundreds, in yeah. the hundreds. Hundreds of thefts out there. We must have some uh, teams, no doubt, going around. Professional teams. Yeah, professional yeah. teams. So, well, once again, do look after your kit, um, particularly when the big show is on. OK, listeners, I'll... Uh, we're all amateurs. I'll... Uh, Oh, Dr. Lawson carrying what appears to be... What are you carrying, Dr. Lawson? <laughs> All our um, equipment. Your equipment. Well, this looks like straight out of the People's Republic of China. Yes, so I, long... 
18 foot scaffolding foot pole covered, covered on your shoulders. Don't, don't let me stop you <laughs> with um, mattresses and um, what, what's covered in that? Uh, All the food. All the food? Oh, it's not important drugs. It's one of these uh, plastic um, cool um, camping cooler boxes. <laughs> Okay, carrying with yeah, all the <laughs> all that stuff. Okay. Uh, anyway, what sort of things have you been doing on site? Um, just enjoying myself. <laughs> no, you're not too and uh, overworked. Oh, and yes. or enjoying your work. Yeah, about 48 hours of uns- unstopping work, <laughs> and then a day sleeping, and then a day enjoying myself. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Thank you very much, Cheers. Dr. Lawson. Bye bye. Oh, there we are. Now, I'll just run up to the um, site services. I'll just um, switch off the recorder and come back to you immediately. I'm just approaching the caravan headquarters of Andrew Carr. He's just uh, attacked by a kid with a water pistol. Uh, stand by one moment. Okay. Oh, Andrew's not here. Oh, sorry, I'm just doing um, interviews for Radio Avalon, the site radio. Who who are you? Oh, well, I'm not going to give an interview because I'm not sort of, I haven't been at Andrew all that long. Really? When did you come? I come on Monday. You come? What's your name? My name is Gareth Buckingham. Oh, yeah, Gareth. And you've been here since Monday. What have you been up to? Working. Working? What, What did you do today? Um. Oh, I was meant to tidy up some rubbish, but I couldn't find the bloke I was meant to be working with. In the end, um, I went off with um, the site crew yeah. and got, bought, got something to eat down at Charlie's. I see. Charlie's, that's the site kitchen? Yeah. Oh. How old are you, Gareth? Twelve. Twelve? Oh, you're very, very uh, taken from a really responsible <laughs> work if you don't want to be being patronising. OK, I'll be off. Bye-bye. I do. I'm not very good at interviewing children. Oh, I've just seen someone walking into the farmyard. Um, hold on a moment. What's this? Jeff, the tractor driver. Hello, Jeff. Hello. How are you doing? OK, I'm just going around doing some, um, doing some little interviews of people working on the... Um, you're driving, what, the 574 International tractor, the red tractor. What have you, what have you been doing today? Oh, clearing rubbish, pulling out cars. Putting lime into the toilets, various bits and pieces. Yeah, anything you'd like to say to the people on site? Oh, it's a very good festival. They've all enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> any, any, anything to say about the toilets at all? Uh, the toilets are all right. Work very well. People have been keeping them clean, have yeah, they? Yeah, fairly reasonable. Yeah. Self-help thing. Yeah. 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 Very tidy. Very okay. Good. Well, there you are. If you need to be towed out of a, a ditch or something, it'd be very likely Jeff who turns up on his red tractor to come and see you. Okay. Bye bye. Well, I'm just walking past the little office. Hello, Emily. Hello. Hello. What have you been doing today? Uh. Hello? Nothing. Nothing. Have you heard any of the bands? Okay. Takes her head. Ah, coming back into the parlour. Busy, Simon. No, I'm just trying to relax, actually. Yeah. So, what's your surname? Royza. Royza, Simon mm. Royza. I'm just um, going, going around talking to people for um, Radio Avalon, the site radio. Mm. I thought it'd be rather nice to do a spot from up at the farmhouse when mm-hmm. people do anything. So what sort of things have we been doing today? so long ago. <laughs> I arrived at the porter cabin to relieve Ian from... It's all right. You're all not in, you're not in. <laughs> I can't remember it all. I I got up. How long have you been up? Oh, I had a good sleep. Sleep mm-hmm. at eight thirty. You up at eight thirty? Yeah. How's, how's it all going? Now? Any special problems? Not today. Today's mm-hmm. fine. What sort of shifting things have you been traffic. doing? Doing shifting traffic? Yeah, oh. parking cars. That's a lovely job. We just Very spoke easy. to one of the um, tractor drivers. Yeah. Jeff, tractor driver. He's standing by up here, waiting for some business. Yeah, he's a, he's a good boy. He's uh, he likes shifting cars. Mm. He is on the CB, but we won't tell the people what channel he's on. We've already had one of them. Somebody wanted to 
to get their car started and they called up one of our emergency vehicles on the channel and uh, <laughs> got the, the, their vehicle started. We called him out and said, what are you doing? And uh, he said, uh, oh, I, I had instructions to uh, move this blue Cortina. <laughs> Nobody had uh, from the communications centre actually uh, said anything about it. Uh -huh. Rick is here now. And then, we got the, then we have the Nigerian intellectual. Oh. Who's that? King Sunny. Yeah, this we'll is what you were calling. Calling. a little... Code calls him. Oh, Christ. It's probably because he's got one over on him, that's why. Oh, OK, no, he hasn't got one over on him. He, he <laughs> does good business for Johnny Kurt. Mm. I mean, you know, the, those concerts that uh, the head music did at the Lyceum were very good. That's right, beautiful. And uh, it's unfortunate, you know, that uh, when, you, when you put bands that are going to be doing London shows into the Glastonbury Festival, it affects the, the London uh, ticket sales to a tremendous degree. And yeah. so... Yeah. You know, we should always uh, try and make get people to support those events as well as last Absolutely, summer. right. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, because, I mean, last year, we, 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 Richie Havens played here on, on the Sunday night, mm -hmm. and he played in London on the Saturday, and uh, we had only half a house in London, because all his fans were at Glastonbury, you know. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. This actually worked like that. <coughs> in fact, we're doing two shows at Curtis Mayfield in London next week. And the tickets are selling incredibly slowly because everyone's in Glastonbury. Mm. Yeah. So On a freebie. Work. Well, there you are. The people who uh, are very professional about it, they, 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 no, no, no doubt take that into account. <laughs> and they charge sort of uh, five-figured uh, fees and that sort of well, thing. Well, no, I mean, uh, I mean the, the agents or, and, and the management of those bands, um, they, as long as they get paid, you know, they don't give a monkey. It's, it's, it's the promoters who are organising in those situa mm. in the other situations that actually oh, suffer to a degree. Mm. So it's you know it's you know you, you, you know when when you when you sort of put down the band, you forget about the, the other victims <laughs> that are, in, are, are trapped in that. You know, of course, by their own choice, one has to say. Well, yeah, I mean, mm. well, yeah, I mean, it's not it's not hoisted by one's own petard. Yeah, I mean, it's just or yeah. one's faith or one's uh, sure, right. one's need to show support for certain uh, things that are happening, mm. you know. Okay, well, I must carry on. Cheers, thanks for, you, thanks for the words. And listen out I mean, on uh, Radio Avalon. And, uh, we'll be checking for it. We'll, uh, now, oh, well, the uh, office is temporarily unmanned. Yeah, well, why don't you go back to Hey, Henry. Hello. Sorry, can you go again? I just returned to communication centre. Is it back in order on the main exit now? Um, I'm not sure. What? Where are you going for? Well, there we are, folks. Uh, that's all. Not very professional, but. Um, Yeah. 